Ladies, y'all want to know the secret to finding out if a man really like you? And no, it's not him taking you on an expensive date and spending a lot of money. No, it's not how much he calls. It's not even how much time he spends with you. Because sometimes they be bored and they just want a space filler, okay? Alienation is your father's an asshole. <laughs> Negative gatekeeping is, hello? Here, it's your father. Uh -huh. I just said your father's an asshole. I didn't have to say it out loud. And what's great is when the child's attorney or the judge speaks to the kid and says, does mommy ever say anything bad about dad? I'm literally not going to believe this, but my fiance wants his dad to check my hymen before we get married. My fiance proposed about eight months ago and everything seemed to be going really, really well. Um, I'm a virgin and so is he. And he said that he wanted to wait until marriage, which I didn't put up a fuss. I was like, it's fine. We can just do that. I'm okay with that. Tay, how do you know if a man like you, Tay? I don't know. You tell me. Wait, what? Let's find out. How do you? We asking you. I don't know. There's so many mixed signals with these guys. Oh, oh these my days. God, man. We're peeing at that. We're peeing at one. It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. Ladies, y'all want to know the secret to finding out if a man really like you. And no, it's not him taking you on an expensive date and spending a lot of money. No, it's not how much he calls. It's not even how much time he spends with you. Because sometimes they be bored and they just want a space filler, okay? The real test is if he comes into your life and tries to solve a problem for you. That man that likes me came by my house yesterday because we were going to do a little day date. And as I was walking out of the garage, he noticed that my garage light didn't illuminate. It didn't come on because the bulb been out. Who knows how long? It's never worked since I've had the house. And as soon as he seen it, he was like, your light don't work. I'm like, no, I ain't thinking nothing about it. He go over there, pop the little thing down, put a little bulb out. We're going to stop and get a light bulb because you need a light in your garage. That man is going to come into your house and he's going to start seeing stuff. Like, why is this smoke detector beeping? Let me get up here and fix it. See, y'all be thinking that it's the amount of money that they spend. Y'all think that these men like you because they want to have sex with you. That's why they always want to be around you. No, 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 no. A man who comes into your life and tries to solve a problem without being prompted. You didn't even have to say, hey, can you look at this light? No. A man who really like you, he's going to come in there, he's going to fix that thing. Could be anything. I'm trying to tell you, men, if I'm telling the truth, let me hear it in the comments. Mm -hmm. if, I'm just, if I just met you and I don't know you, how the hell you at my house to even know that my light mm -hmm. is out? Well, remember, they, they were going out on a day date. <laughs> going out on no date date? You ain't at my house? Well, maybe she knew him you there. Just because you live like a CIA, <laughs> yeah. everybody else ain't like that. Yeah, I mean, Some people are a little trustworthy, okay? <laughs> um... Uh, um <laughs> over there fucking miss espionage over here M listen melvin just hey. was coming to the date that day, young lady oh yeah you know i mean you know he saw that light was out. he was like yo let me you know let me fix your joint you know listen yeah. <laughs> yeah but that doesn't always necessarily mean that somebody likes you that just means you know that he was raised right listen i'll hey, put bullshit uh, let me I'll, take something. I'll put your brakes on. <laughs> Look, let me take something. Knock the that, brakes that, off. <laughs> yeah, man. Two things. If you tell a man that you got issues, like you listen here, such and such, everything going bad, and that motherfucker say, damn, that's fucked yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> that means the motherfucker don't like you. <laughs> Damn. They don't like you. You cool though. Yeah. You still ready to go out? <laughs> if he say, damn. <laughs> you all right, though? <laughs> So yeah, still good for Thursday. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Anything I can do for you? <laughs> I mean, that motherfucker ain't with you. Oh my god! <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I mean, but I know me. If you know, what I mean, I like a girl. I mean, you know, I, I do shit like, oh damn, you know, this is bro. Let me fix this. You know, um, damn, let me, you know what I mean? You know, yo, your door now about to fall off. Let me fix mm -hmm. that. Yo, you know, yo, yo, let me knock that dust off your coochie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See? I mean. It's always something. Always something. I mean. Always something. I mean, let me knock the dust off your mother, your, uh, <laughs> your ceiling fan. Your ceiling fan. <laughs> See, it's always something. As a matter of fact, let me get that room. Look at that ceiling fan. Because after I, after yeah. I clean this off, I'm, I'm, we don't be on the ceiling fan. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, But, all right, look, look, let's go to the comment. So, the first comment from Mel Johnson, the second, 
A real man will protect and provide. That he, okay, I that's, agree with that. That's correct. I agree with that. It, you, do you? And, and that's what I have experienced. Yes, not necessarily a man that does something for you because it's yeah. just superficial. Yeah, you agree with that? With that comment? And he still wants some memes. So he has, <laughs> we will protect, provide, collide, divide, whatever them odd words is. Just so we can slide. <laughs> not so, everybody. Then, yeah. Not everybody is out for that. Not this is everybody. not a general thing. This is okay. not. It's not for the majority. So we got a second comment from David Chadwick. You're right. My wife never pumps gas. Doesn't worry about tire pressure, oil, etc. Because I proactively mm-hmm. look for ways to make her life easier. That's how my ex was. And I, I didn't to- have to do a thing. And I totally believe that what he's saying is 100 percent true. But also because. As ways that she does the same thing for him, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he probably does it first. But he wouldn't have said that if she was just a selfish. It's, a, it's an equal give and take. Yeah. Equal yeah. give and take, yeah. definitely. Yeah. But I think now a lot of these modern women they get they get it confused where they think that every man is supposed to be a provider protector. Yo, I just I don't know. Yeah, like, is that, that why, man don't why, know why, you? He yeah, not it's like why I gotta you? provide or, for you and I ain't even we ain't even in no relationship. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> or it's I gotta do X, Y, and Z, jump through hurdles. I gotta be an Olympic hurdler. And then you hit me with the, oh, well, I'm not doing wifey stuff. So what do you think this is? Yeah. I'm doing husband stuff. Yep. So I got to do husband stuff. But you, you, oh, that's not, I'm not doing that till I'm a wife. It's just, it's stupid. Modern, not all modern women, but modern women are delusional. It just doesn't make sense. In the world that we live in, it's give and take. Yeah, yeah, and mostly man. the men give it up mm-hmm. first. You, we gotta give it up first. We take you out on a date and like, come on, it just be. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you, and I'm a men are men. Us, uh, us men are actually the romantic. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. No, we are. Not all y'all. Not all of us, but nope. but men are. They yeah. do have the romance. Yeah, men have uh, men. Men are. I, very I honestly believe men more, think about more the romance. Women, well, more women be, are from or in those romantic. Uh, Feelings, Jesus, yes. Before more than men are, yes. And then the next day, y'all right out of that shit, asking for a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> because obviously, you picked the wrong goddamn woman. Especially a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let's not put no color to it. Let's not put no. Let's not put no color to it. Okay. Shot, shot because fired. Because it ain't got nothing to do. Shots fired. With the color of the person's skin, okay? I know, I know. You got to look be, beyond the skin. <sighs> Let me find out. Uh, Lowe's done took a, a, a coochie break. Like, he keep wiping his mouth. <laughs> y'all, did y'all know that he was going off the screen for about a minute? <laughs> was it good? Keep though? it ready, baby. <laughs> keep it ready. Listen, that, that mom said, I finally got that kids back in school. <laughs> Had to make a little detour. <laughs> yeah, I mean. So we got next comment. So next comment from Black. What's good? You giving them too much game. Cold part about they're still not going to listen. Now that, now that Black, you hit the nail on the head. That's what I said. Well, they I still say that's too much game because, I mean, there's people know about that. But at the end of the day, yeah, he's right. Like, you got a lot of women that don't like to listen. They just want to do what they want to do. But he's right because a lot of women don't experience. I, I I talk to my cousin like once or twice a week, and she talks about all these women that she know who like literally are surrounded by bums who don't do anything. So like, yeah, that's really that's because is the they game. they choose to be surrounded by bums. But I mean, even still, choice or not, it's like... In their in their experience, there's a lot of guys who just don't do nothing. So he is giving game because, like, I, I I feel the same way. If I like you, I might you know replace your car key because you lost it. But if I don't like you, girl, you better get on the bus. Yeah, yeah. I ain't getting on nobody's bus because I got my own vehicles. No, I'm saying she got her own vehicle and she lost her car key. And she's like, oh, can you give me two fifty to get a new one? No, nope, because at the end of the day, the one thing that I've always done, I always got two sets of keys. And I always had money. And even when I didn't have a car, which was so long ago, I always made sure if I was going somewhere with somebody, I always had enough money to get me a, a, a car ride or, or um, was it a cab ride? That's before Uber and Lyft. Damn, you was riding the cabs? See? <laughs> yes, I was. Damn. Hater. Lois just always oh, got hate. Sorry. He always <laughs> hating. <laughs> nah, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to say nothing. We're going to go right to the last comment. Of this video, mm-hmm. Jr. What's popping, Jr. Facts. 
You know a man when you you'll know when a man likes you when he does all of those things unprompted. Men will go far and out of his way to fix things you weren't even thinking about just because he likes you the real way. Mm-hmm. And that's because that's the only way we know our worth. Like cuz women women if you just a regular guy and you just nice and women will overlook you until you do something for them. It's like I always say when do women just like men just for the guy that he is not what he does mm-hmm. not what he provides monetarily mm-hmm. not what if he can fix hell, what the hell you looking at me like that for like not if he fixes something or whatever why do you do you See, just you like him because he's just a nice person <laughs> and he's intelligent smacked. and all it normally has to be oh yeah he he bought me groceries he took me on a day he is something he had to provide for you for you mm-hmm. to like him why you can just like him because he's just a nice person why can't y'all just like women well, just, I, just to be, I, 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 just to be nice instead of winning I, I, games? <laughs> That's all y'all talk but, about. But that's, all friend, that's all friendship. That's all you and Lowe's talk but about, the, the yams. But the difference is <laughs> the yams. we putting out before we get the yams. <laughs> We're not the ones receiving first. <laughs> we receive last. <laughs> Ain't no friendship really? without them yams. See? See? See what I'm talking about? Can I get to the yams? <laughs> Sweet yams. <laughs> oh, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. And subscribe. Yeah, I mean, talk what you think. Goddamn. This June podcast. Now, I mean, how do you know when a man likes you? You know what I'm saying? Goddamn. Stay woke, ladies. <laughs> Stay woke, man. Yeah, oh, I tell you with the book edge. Here we go, man. Here we go, man. You know Shall I got to throw my shade in there. I know, man. I know. You, you know what I mean? But we still like you. So we, are we going to the next video? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Say, say, say number three in Greek. Go number ahead. three since, in Greek? Yeah, since y'all on this whole Greek thing. Go ahead. I want to hear it. Oikos. There you go. Really? My guy. <laughs> my guy. Ain't nothing like some good yogurt. <laughs> look, look at her face, y'all. But y'all just a mess. <laughs> Don't hate because we, we international. <laughs> All right. All right. Look at that. Got that yogurt on your face. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Please don't have none of that on your face. <laughs> This is getting out of out. This is getting outrageous. So Jamal outside. Waiting. Jamal is outside <laughs> waiting. First of all, I'm not a sloppy eater. Oh shit! <laughs> Patreon <laughs> coming soon, soon, soon. This joint is getting crazy. <laughs> all right, man. So next video. <laughs> this next video is a little serious, man. We gotta get a little serious. Okay. Here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no get we get a little. Mm, excuse me. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <laughs> we get a little serious, man. So the next video, man. The insidious nature of parental alienation. That's right, man. Okay. We can, we can, mm. we take, we can fucking serious, man. Yeah, man. Parents, get it together, goddamn. Yes, sir. It's That's right. Got my news on it. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Alienation is. Your father's an ass. <laughs> Negative gatekeeping is, hello? Here, it's your father. Uh-huh. I just said your father's an ass. I didn't have to say it out loud. And what's great is when the child's attorney or the judge speaks to the kid and says, does mommy ever say anything bad about dad? The kid's telling the truth when they say, no, she didn't say anything about dad. Mm-hmm. But she said, because here's the difference. What's the difference? Ready? Hey, did you have fun with dad? Oh, that's great. Where'd you guys go? Oh, you went to the park? Oh, that's nice. That's good. It was fun. Oh, good. Did you have dinner? Oh, what did you have? Pizza? Oh, good. I know you like pizza. All right, we'll go upstairs, brush your teeth. I'm so glad you're home. I missed you so much when you were away this weekend. Oh, my gosh. Are you okay? Yeah, did you have a good, you okay? Yeah, you had a good time. You were with dad. What you got? You went to the park today? It's so cold today. Did you? Oh, my gosh. Did dad, did you have pizza? That's all you had for dinner was pizza? Oh, my gosh. Why why didn't they give you any vegetables? Well, you know, it's okay. You know what? I'm going to make your favorite soup. Go ahead upstairs, and when you come back down, I'm going to make you your favorite soup, and we're going to hang out, and we can watch TV together, Mm. okay? What did I just do? Mm-hmm. What did I just do? I just alienated that kid from dad. And I just said, are you okay? That means dad's dangerous. Why would I not be okay? I was with my dad. Like, this is what it, the face of alienation is now, is this negative gatekeeping model. It's this very clever, insidious way of like, I could have been helpful, but I've been so much more. Wow. You found this way to sort of pull the person out from it. And you will not be surprised probably to hear for some of the reasons I think you just said very well, this is something women are really good at. 
No, but that was a triggering moment for mm. me. Mm. That was? Why? Yeah, it was. Speak on it. Why? Because that's what I lived. Oh, I lived for real? That. I lived that. Yes, I did. When, when Start, you, started out as a, a two-parent you home, you know, with, with mom, dad, and, you know, me and sister, you know, we yeah. all living, you know, what, we, what you would call, like, the life. Oh, you you the child. <laughs> I was a child, okay. right. And then it gets to the point where, you know, mom and dad separate in the process yeah. of divorce, yeah. and now here we are, me and my sister meeting, we're in, we're in between this parental battle, and the times that we would go to dad whenever that was possible whenever she would allow us yeah we would and it would be that same thing and then it would be like literally words that i never knew about i had to look up because i was like what the what's trifling i'll be like dad what's the word trifling <laughs> what <laughs> like that's what i would hear like my dad never said anything negative about my mom but i would hear it the opposite way so yeah i, I lived that i mean you know normally Normally, but of course, I mean, I can't speak for it in general, but normally the men don't take it on bash, the chest. Mm-hmm. Um, the mothers, unless you got a real emotional man who's in his feelings and shit like that, which is soft. yeah, but don't put opponent. the kids in the middle. No, 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 but like, and I and I learned that you know, I had to learn that you know, with my children, like to this day, my kids can never say. You know, for the children that I had where I wasn't, you know, yeah. uh, with their dad, you know, um, or I shall I say child, but um, I never, I never said anything negative about her dad, yeah. never, ever. And you, and you know, because at the end of the day, I knew once she got older, she would figure it out on her own. And, and you know what, the women, I won't say the women, sorry, the children normally always, I don't want to say hate, but dislike the parent that talk speak so negatively of the once other again, parent. Yes. Once again, yeah. that's 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 life for me. Yeah. And it's sad to say because um a lot of times people are like, oh yeah, you only get one mother. But no one understands the trauma that you go through oh. as a trial. Oh yeah. Internally it's like you live that and then you start to think like, wait a minute, am I not good enough? Like it's it's a lot that I went through. Mm-hmm. I mean mm-hmm. and this is this is just surface level. I it's it's deep. It's really deep. A lot of yeah. the stuff that I went through. Yeah, well, you know, hold on, T. I got some. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> I got some. He about to give me some. <laughs> no, thank you. It'll no, knock man. them worries right out now. Yeah. Right out. Let me trauma. Tell you, let me no tell you more something. trauma. No. No. I am not worried. Trauma. Yeah, man. It took years for me to for me to come from up under that that bridge, but I'm good now. That you know, I mean, that's what's up. I mean, you know, it took years. Yeah. It took a long time. Yeah, it I mean, took, plus you know, you took, got it together. It took some forgiving that I didn't want to do. But you did. I did. That's why we love you, <laughs> motherfucking T. <laughs> what do you guys say, bro? Listen, for me, it's the part of like the immaturity. At the end of the mm-hmm. day, it's about mm-hmm. the kids. So, no matter what what the the split was, that's fine. The the majority of the time. The kids suffer, and it's like you're so selfish, worrying about your own feelings and emotions and everything. Not saying that you shouldn't, but you know there's a bigger picture, and yeah. so um, the the kids suffer because you know you're being bitter, and you know you're painting a picture of the dad, or you're not letting them see the dad, and and, and, and like and like T said, it's just trauma, and here she goes, you know, an adult woman who still has some you know it still affects her in some way it might not affect her like it did you know as a kid when it happened but it still affects her so it's like as as the women it's like y'all need to and men too because some men do it too so it's like y'all should see that it's about the child so as long as this person ain't trying to physically harm you or the child just suck it up and do what you gotta do if you have to have specific days okay we're only going to talk on wednesdays that's gonna be the day that we discuss the kids. What we going? How we going? Uh, swap them, school, whatever. We're gonna pick that one day because I I just don't want to talk to you multiple times. Like something, do something, because it's just like it's it's out of control. And 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 again, it's, the kids is selfish. Yeah, because the kids yeah. the kids feel it the most. So and, yep. and I always say this: at the end of the day, you as a parent, your number one goal should be when your child becomes an adult. You should be able to sit back and ask them, hey, how did I do as as a parent? And they should be able to give you at least a probably a B. 
see if you was like you had an addiction yeah, or something perfect. like. Yeah, nobody's perfect. I mean, and, and yeah, like, yeah, nobody's gonna be a. Yeah, especially like for me, like you know, it took some time. Like, and I know I, I made some mistakes, even me as a parent, because it was some things that I did, some of those traumas that kind of sort of because I had my kids young, so those traumas went right on to motherhood for me. Yeah. But at the end of the day, as I was getting older and learning myself. I was actually learning how to be a better mother. So I can literally talk to my girls now at this point. It was like, man, mom, you was like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm sorry. And I had to tell them I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I had to tell them I was sorry. I was like, look, I didn't know. I'll accept your apology. Whatever. <laughs> Let me. And now you're a better motherfucker. <laughs> oh. I'm a father fucker. No. <laughs> Lordy. <laughs> hey, YouTube. Um. Please don't we hit apologize. Us with the don't hit us with the guidelines. <laughs> <laughs> Monetization <laughs> snatch right from a fucker, y'all. Yeah, just like that. This episode <laughs> zero. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, let's go to the comment, y'all. So we got a comment from Tom the Cat. He sounds exactly like my like my baby's mama. <laughs> man, unfortunately, man, you see a lot of a that. lot of it, you, especially yeah. in domestic relations or in family court. Oh my god! So we got the next comment. From Technomat, every lawyer and judge need to go need to go through training like this. <laughs> that, that that's well. So uh, well, I no mean, man, hold on. Let me no, say it. Let me so, say it. Let me say it real quick. I'm a, go tech, ahead. tech. I'm gonna speak this to you. They already know it. It's a money thing. That's what I was just about to say. It's it, about it ain't got nothing to do for. about taking care of the child. It's about the. It's about a money yes, thing. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? Go ahead, T. No, you saying what I was just about, about to say. That, yeah. It ain't got nothing to do with the training. It's about nope. what they getting paid for. Yeah, so it's, it's cash grab. You know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah, just like you said, they it's a, it, it's a system designed to do what it does. Yep. And as long and as it's working we, flawlessly. It's flawlessly, as long as it, it keeps doing that, it's going, that's going to be it. So we got the next comment. Next comment from a uh, creative director. OMG, and this is what my stepmom does. Mm. Damn. Yes. We, we hearing so much about the females. Yeah. Like females, y'all gotta get it together. Y'all need to do some healing. Like literally, seriously. It's it's just crazy because y'all have no idea of the cycle of trauma that you create when you put these kids through this. Y'all have no well, idea. Well, for one, they're not really thinking about the, nope. uh, the children. They don't care. They're thinking about themselves. Mm -hmm. Once again, if they go through go through some type of healing and understand it, then they will know, yeah, mm -hmm. this is affecting the child, not you. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you're not hurt. The man's not hurt, but the one that's in the middle is the child, especially when they're young. And people, a lot of times, I hate when people say, oh, yeah, they don't know what they thought, what, they, what you're talking about. Them kids, they see everything they oh, understand yeah. everything they are sponges they understand it all they may not completely comprehend everything but as they get older and then they start putting two and two together oh my gosh that's yeah. why you think you that's why these kids rebel against those type of parents that do that type of stuff because it's like well dad you know and now i realize you would or you were the toxic use the one. problem use a problem use yes. the issue use the issue yeah so last comments last comment for this video wild up 06 Yes, my son's mother, but now he's older and can't, and he mm. can't stand her. She never changed. Mm. And then think, and about, that's what happens. And then think about how that how that plays for him going forward and dating. Now he's like, I seen this type of woman, and even though I might not like her, it becomes like an attraction because it's what I'm used to. Because yeah. And so now you mess. Now you starting a new cycle of him, and now he got trauma from how you was, and it just keeps snowballing. Right, so, that's it what just I keeps said. snowballing it's, it's, because it's a cycle. You, yeah, you can't control yourself. Like, get some, get some help. Go talk to somebody and move on. Yeah, yeah but you know now these days everybody like I ain't going no therapy. Oh How yeah, you know, well, you know, I mean, that, sometimes <laughs> that seems like that's 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 uh, that's us black men kryptonite. Oh man, I ain't crazy. Shoot. They be crazy as a motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't crazy. I ain't going to talk about no, But then again, but then again if, if you keep saying every week that the craziest pussy is the best pussy, then they going to stay crazy. Um, can we not use the P word? <laughs> sorry. sorry. Sorry, YouTube. Sorry. Yeah, you got to say coochie. Yes. Coochie. Yeah. And I ain't going to lie. That crazy coochie is some good coochie. That foo foo is. Mwah. Mwah. <sighs> Boy. Now, I, 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 I suggest, gentlemen, that you deal with the uh, crazy foo foo. Uh, under thirty, because you could yeah. you could deal with it. Then once you get over thirty, 
it, it starts to, you know, you get bags under your eyes. What's the yeah. difference? Oh, when you're in your twenties, you invincible, so you can take that. Yeah. You can get hit. You get you can get hit in the head with a pot once or twice. You be yeah. all right. Oh my god! You get thirty. <laughs> you know that starts getting you concussions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, boy. Got, come on, T. Tell, tell me, tell me, tell me that crazy sausage ain't get you. you I ain't never hit make, nobody with no dag on pot. A man to give you, a man never give it to you so good. All right, let me ask you, you a question. You lost your mind. You like to hit? You, you, push, like you driving four o'clock in the morning to see no, where he at? You. you ever put sugar in anybody's tank? <laughs> I told you what I did before. I rest, I rest my case, your honor. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it wasn't me. The defense. Somebody hired me to do it. So you did it for somebody else? Yes. Mm. That makes it even crazier. Yeah, man, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh>. So, <laughs> listen. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. Yeah, man. Shall we I go ain't to letting the no next? man uh, stress me out. This joint pocket. Uh -huh. Oh, for real? Yeah, whatever, man. Next video. <laughs> <laughs> next video. <laughs> so the next video we got. Hey, oh, oh, this is a good one. I like this one right here, man. I like that. This. Hype? I love bad kids. All right, play the oh, video damn. so we, so we can be hyped too. Kids. <laughs> I ain't mean to spoil it like that. I'm sorry, YouTube. All right, parents of a five year old are being asked to pay a hundred and thirty two thousand dollars bill after their son knocked over an art sculpture at Ooh. an art gallery. See, so dumbass. Ass fool. Mm -hmm. I'll be whooping for that ass. I know that's right. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Let's go. The brewing dispute over an expensive piece of art after a little boy had a big accident. Watch as this five-year-old boy reaches for an art sculpture on display at a community center, toppling the piece and knocking the boy down too. The boy's mother, Sarah Goodman, stunned, but the real shock coming days later. No one would ever expect to come into a place where kids are invited and have to worry about a $132,000 piece of art falling. The family receiving an eye-popping $132,000 claim from the city of Overland Park's insurance company. The fall allegedly damaging the piece beyond repair. The insurance letter reading in part, you're responsible for the supervision of a minor child. Your failure to monitor could be considered negligent. I was surprised, more so offended to be called negligent. City officials say the piece was secured. It's not an interactive piece. So when you have you know, somebody climbing on it, that's not what it's built for. The city says they hope the insurance company can work this out with the family. Crazy because CJ, weren't we just talking about this? I no, talking what, what children being about, unsupervised? About children effing stuff up and not listening to their parents, just doing what the hell they want. No, but wait a minute, no, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Where was the parent? It's the a, parent was nowhere in first the, of all, in the this scene. This is not the Please Touch Museum. You know what? If they want to go climb on a five year old, should be at the Please Touch Museum. So here in Philly, we have this museum. It's like for kids. It's called the Please Touch Museum. The kids can touch every. Any and everything, literally. That's that's what it's intended yeah. for. A museum like that, you better have that child in that stroller, hold their hand the entire time, and not even one of them little dog collars where where it has like the the uh, that stretches and they can walk off. Nope. Nah. You better have their hand the entire time. No. Nah, oh my goodness. Not, I'm not. I'm stop touching shit. At five, she he should have been with her. It should have been no reason why that little boy should have been. But I don't know at, where was she because she was she nowhere was looking, in the shot. She, she was nowhere was, in the shot. She was looking at another piece of art somewhere. It says right here, the definition of negligent, failing to take proper care in doing something. Now, we could tell that she was of a certain culture, which is cool. But in our culture, I know our audience, y'all y'all heard this line before. <laughs> Don't go ahead acting no damn fool. Right. <laughs> you better stay by right by here. If I if I got Look, to talk to you, you more than one time, you gotta pinch that cheek I'm before you go inside. If I got to talk to you one more than one time, <laughs> when we get outside, now my my mom didn't curse. She never cursed, so she would use all kind of wild lines. So hers was if if, if you go in here and you act the fool in here, I'm a tear fire to you behind. <laughs> I don't know how you tear fire. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> But like I know exactly what that meant. So oh again, my gosh. My, she, I got that fire on me. She was negligent. You <laughs> failed to take proper care of your child 
and he went and did something and, and he went made a decision and broke something right because at some point when he was even touching or about to touch no, the statue he was climbing on the i know all, that's what i'm saying if she was standing right there by the time he touched it she should have been able to stop him from even climbing on it but yeah. he done climbed on it it done fell and fell on top of him but you, i guess what if he would have got hurt i bet they would have tried to sue yeah but my whole thing is mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you know this is a art gallery, right? So you know everything in here it's has expensive. some type of price or expense to it. Yeah. So even if he didn't knock that over, if he went over to one of the pictures and poked a hole in it, mm. if anything, some of that stuff is priceless. He could have messed it up. It could have messed up anything in there. So it's like you know the stuff is precious. Hold his damn hand, right? And if he get too rambunctious, you take these little, get rid of this one, and maybe this one. You take these three little fingers and on his little leg, you pop, pop, give him three little taps, <laughs> straighten him right on up. Good. Yeah, right. You know they don't believe in that. <laughs> well, and that's why, he, and that's why he suplexed that yeah. uh, 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 sculpture off yeah, the top rope. That build one hundred thirty-two thousand. Right. right. right so, so look, the first comment from music says, "Yep, yeah, spoiled kids are expensive." Facts. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. especially when you're not monitoring. Not just though. necessarily spoiled, but kids that don't have no, no, no uh, home training. Exactly, home training, like you know, just horrible. Just climbing just again. Climbing yeah, you, I'm pretty sure, audience, you've been somewhere, and you doing something, and you turn around, and all you see is this. Hmm. You yeah. know what that look means. Yeah, I say nothing. Oh Lord, I'm about, I'm about to get my ass whooped. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, let's show up. That's all you got to do is that, the look. Yeah, oh, that's it. Hey, look, hold on. Before I go to the next comment, man, I remember when my son was little, and we we was in the gallery. I forgot what store we was in, man. I think Macy's, and he was acting a fool. Mm. I look, man, I pushed that motherfucker between the rack. Like <laughs> 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 Straightening right out, what? man. <laughs> well, you know, because every now and then, kids need medicine. Sometimes yes. you gotta supply that medicine. Look, if some of chain. these parents do that. Like, oh my gosh, sometimes sometimes I can tell who's the parent in a relationship and it's not the parent. It's the kid. So next comment from Morningstar says, "Parent forgetting their responsibilities and accountability." Exactly. That's the I truth, wouldn't man. say they forgetting that. I just think that sometimes they just they have their own way of parenting, or I mean. Like perfect example, you know, some cultures they let the children do what they want. It's it's no structure. So yeah. when there's no structure, these kids feel as okay, I can just do what I want. Yeah. Without yeah, somewhere. It's no right. consequences. Yeah, all right. They don't have no consequences, so what's the point? Shit, I'm That's, well, you see what you see what happened. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, $130,000 consequences bill. All right, so the next comment says from uh Nellboy seventy five. As my father would always say, look with your eyes, not with your hand. These mm. parents should be trying to install this in their kids. At five years old, that's a lot to ask, though. Because huh. I, 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 I'm just saying. I it, told you, stop, touch, stop touching shit. Yeah, but at, at that type, of, I would not have taken my five-year-old to that type of art gallery. Or honestly. an art gallery, period. Yeah. I'm not taking my kids somewhere yeah. where something expensive can yeah. be messed up. Yeah. Their children, at five he don't understand you at five he's not even supposed to be still that's what i'm saying he's like you know at around. five years old like here in philly you got all these you know children museums and uh, mm -hmm. uh different places that you could take them like it's been a while for me but i know for a fact there's a lot of places you could take these kids to where they can actually touch things and nothing if if something gets broke they expect for it to get broke yeah and also there's museums for adults to touch things too mm -hmm. <laughs> Saints oh, and sinners, please, <laughs> yeah, please touch me. <laughs> Look it up, Google saints and sinners. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy! <laughs> he is stupid. <laughs> he is the best. Oh God, he don't know oh, what to wow. do. <laughs> <laughs> That's the platinum package. <laughs> That's a platinum package right there, y'all. <laughs> At the please touch me museum. Mm -mm. <laughs> the he's touch me. <laughs> you know what I mean? The he's touch me museum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so look, what do they got? Next comment from last comment from Street 
that mother has the lights on, but there's no one home. Yes, that's, that's what delusion. Dad, why, why you come at her like that, Streets? I wonder what Dad said. That's why you ain't see Dad on camera. Yes, he was like this mother. Why would she take Dylan to <laughs> goddamn museum? You know how bad that mother. Yeah. But wait a minute. Wait, did you peep the little brother to the side, just looking like? <laughs> yeah, like, you about to get your ass yeah, beat tonight. Like, oh, <laughs> what is you doing? <laughs> the little brother, like you doing too much. <laughs> Oh man! They probably Look. take turns. No one else. All right. The kids. You think? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> he probably like Dylan. You tripping? Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all, and subscribe. Yeah, tell us what you think. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> this this storm podcast. Oh, let's go. You're literally not going to believe this, but my fiance wants his dad to check my hymen before we get married. My fiance proposed about eight months ago and everything seemed to be going really, really well. Um, I'm a virgin and so is he. And he said that he wanted to wait until marriage, which I didn't put up a fuss. I was like, it's fine. We can just do that. I'm okay with that. He told me earlier that in his family, the father always checks the virginity of the bride the night before. And I thought he was joking. I thought it was a massive joke, but he was dead serious. Looked at me in my face, dead serious. He said that the night before the wedding, he wants me to my legs for his father, himself, his brother, and their uncle. I told him there's a fat chance that that's not gonna happen. And he was begging me to go forward with this, begging me. He said, my mom did it. And I just want you to prove to me how much you love me. And I left sobbing. And honestly, I want to call it the entire wedding for this. I, I want to call it off. But at the same time, besides this, we are absolutely perfect for each other. This is really important to him and his family. I don't know what to do. I'm at a friend's house right now and I just need help. What do I do? Yeah, let me tell you something. First of all, I'm going to tell you how Pop's going to check that hymen. <laughs> First of all, why do she why do she need four people? Ah, nah, son. You gonna be like this. Yeah. <laughs> the hymen got worked. I heard <laughs> that. Do y'all got a child? I just need a little child because um, I just want to make sure that you know we we cover everything that need to be covered up. Okay. <laughs> Hey! Oh, oh, no, oh, like this. Oh. <laughs> Let me say. <laughs> she ain't no virgin. Nah, she ain't no virgin. That. She ain't no virgin. The brother come in. By the oh. time she done with all four of them, she ain't no virgin no more. Like, got me yeah, come on. Let him pop that cherry. The brother now, he coming. Well, since they've done the, the front side, uh, why don't you spin that thing around? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be going down and oh, I'm, I'm choking on my spit. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Hold on, man. Look, look, look. I got I gotta go to the comments, man. YouTube, I gotta go to the comments on this. So the first comment we're gonna say is from Mr. Moderator. He says, tell them it's 20 ahead and oh no kissing. Just, just 20? Just 20? She coming out there with a yeah, you must, you out there with look, the just money. Just 20? <laughs> look, for all that. Yeah, but I'm. I mean, that's crazy. But why you need four people though? Why you need the, the dad, the uncle, the brother? They listen. That's just re that's degrading. They better be O B G Y and N. That's the only way they would be checking my Look, wife. That's why I said O B G Y and me, please. You know what? I'm wondering if he. It tests, can't be real. I wonder if he tested her to see if she really would do it. No, I wonder I, if that's some kind of. I test. see why he's still a virgin when he came to every girl with that. Uh, nope. I said, right. what? Hell no. Like, what the hell? You don't, you don't pull no BS on nobody like that that right before the wedding? Well, you don't pull no BS on, like, regardless. Period. Of wedding or period. You know what no, I mean? No, but I'm just saying, like, he something like that, you know, communicate that with me, not the night before the damn, damn wedding. Yeah. Listen. Like, that's crazy. I love my dad to death, but it ain't no way in hell. He gonna see where my children came out of. Mm. Listen, that's, that's sorry. Good. If my dad, first of all, I ain't got no dad. I ain't had no dad. 
My dad was a bum ass motherfucker. But Uh-oh. if my dad ever said, yeah, I know childhood trauma. If my, <laughs> if my dad ever said some shit like that, I wouldn't check your girl to be a virgin. Boy, he'd be, he'd wake up. That motherfucker wake up. <laughs> he'd wake up in the hospital. Oh, Whoa. Lord. We already checked it, dad. We yeah, checked you into this hospital. <laughs> <laughs> no, hell no. Nah. Uh-uh. So look, let's go to the next comment. So next comment from Bologna. Is it is it Bologna? Well, how the, how do you say bologna? Is it bologna? It's bologna, bologna in bologna. France. I don't know how you say bologna. You say bologna. Yeah, like I don't bologna. know. Yeah. All right. From bologna, they want you to ride the redneck train <laughs> <laughs> to keep it in the family. <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yo, why. Give it up, motherfucker, below this. That's what I say. Are right, they from West Virginia? <laughs> you know, I, I think West Virginia has the highest cases of incest in the in the, U, in the U.S. I'm like, this sounds like a case of West Virginia. It right got to be, man. It got to be. It got to be. What do you think, Tay? Look, I already told you, ain't no way in hell I'm doing it. You know what? Forget you. Ain't, ain't that no much love in the world, Tay? No, nope, not it, not at all. I'm done. Hey. For real? Mm-hmm. No, ain't no way in hell. I'm going to let your family, your dad, your uncle, your... Br- no, ain't nobody touching me like that. They're not even looking. What the... I don't... No, no. The mother did it. No, I don't... She said, I'm not yeah, her. the mother did it. I'm not her. That's what I said. I wonder if they just trying to test her. But that's my Could whole be. thing. Why do everybody got to put everything on social media? Because that's what people do. But you know what? Then we get the opportunity to, 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 to correct yeah, your thing. Yeah. Hey. Well, we yeah. appreciate it. It's just like, what? You know, man. Yes, yes. We love you. Thank you for putting it on social media. Now, man, last comment, y'all. Last comment from guests. He ain't put no name, but you know, I guess he want to stay anonymous. Guest said, "No diamond, no hymen, no diamond." <laughs> listen, oh my God. listen, <laughs> listen. He said, "If this thing don't come back, if, if Mari say uh, not you are not the, the husband, <laughs> that's because you know this thing been touched." <laughs> <laughs> No, they're talking about I'm getting my coochie stretched. <laughs> <laughs> Look, by the time they done with it, oh yeah, right. Yeah. Man. They probably they probably um you know a hymen professional. So they probably as soon as she Whatever. she 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 uh spread eagle, he's like, nope. This one looks a little used, refurbished. No, sorry, Damn. Harper. <laughs> Take this one back. It's a refurbished coochie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you got to get half rice on yes. that coochie. This one looks like it's been on Amazon for a while. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> you you got to send this one back. <laughs> Two-day delivery. Yeah. <laughs> this one was born, This one was on uh, Amazon Prime. Yeah, this one's been used before. <laughs> yeah. You can't return no, this because we no. check cereal. Uh, Amazon Prime got the new stuff. It was on Prime. Poshmark. Poshmark is the used stuff. Hey, Etsy, Poshmark, <laughs> one of them. I mean, she, she got that Timo coochie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, that's your own podcast, y'all. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all know what it is, goddamn. Hey, listen, thank you for all our viewers that join us tonight. We're not saying that it's over, but we will say bye, bitches. <laughs> 